guys, so a lot of you have asked, how do you know if a moth is male or female? So today I'm gonna to address how you can tell the difference, at least in the giant silk moths. So now again, this will not work for all species of moths, but this is appropriate for all of the giant silk moths, the Luna, the Cecropia, the Promethea, or the Polyphemus. So here you can see the female on the top, and she does have nice antenna, but they are nothing like the males at the bottom. The males is typically like a big fan. Here's another example. We see the male on top with his big wide antenna and the thinner, narrower antenna on the female at the bottom. Here's one more example of the Luna moth. You can see the female is on the left with the finer antenna and the male on the right. So once you've seen this, even if you only find one moth, you don't need to compare them in order to tell. The male's antenna are so impressive that it's easy to know what you have when you find them. Why do males have these amazing antenna? It's because once the males and females eclose from their cocoons, the female will be calling to the male with a pheromone she sends out. The males need these wider, huge antenna in order to locate the females, and they can from over a mile away.